this is the Empire with Capital Chaos, and here at the Boardwalk in Orangevale, I have Concordia, I have Eric and Kyle, this is the drummer and the vocalist from the band. How are you guys doing? Doing well. Pleasure awesome. to meet you. Yeah, excited to rock out here. Nice to meet you guys. So you haven't been a band for a very long time, formed in about 2011. How did it all happen? Um, well, it's a pretty interesting story, actually. Uh, my favorite band is Ra, I make no secret of that. Uh, Sahaj is my favorite singer, like, ever. So I recorded a cover of one of his songs, put it on YouTube, and uh, to my surprise, he actually saw it and said how great it was. And then I ended up flying to his house after we talked for a bit, and uh, we just decided to put a record together. And uh, I co-wrote the whole thing, I slept on his couch for a month. And uh, we came up with this record, Clarity of Perception, and uh, came back to Ohio where I live, put a band together. Now we're hitting the road and touring. So is this your guys' first time touring? Correct, yeah. How did that happen? How did you get on tour with 12 Stones? Well, we were on tour uh, like locally, I mean playing, playing like the tri-state area uh -huh. and that kind of thing. And uh, I just sent a cold email to a couple people and said, check out our stuff. Uh, we'd love to you know, get the opportunity to play with you guys. And uh, they, su they responded, uh -huh. which is pretty surprising to me. Yeah. Um, uh, not actually not that surprising because I'm really proud of the material and oh you guys are great yeah you totally deserve it I think it's it just speaks rad. for itself so I, I think a lot of the people uh, are surprised when they hear it and they like it and mm -hmm. so now we're on tour with these guys and it's been a great opportunity and experience so anything crazy happened because it's been about what ten days you've been together now right about ten and you've got several more weeks to go yeah mm -hmm. anything um nothing too crazy it's kind of a a lot of different personalities I'm kind yeah. of a quiet introvert and I just kind of like to go to sleep after the shows and they're definitely party type guys so uh, I'm getting used to living with that kind of a personality <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. they are a lot of fun though which is awesome I mean I couldn't ask for a group of nicer guys out there than mm -hmm. 12 stones to tour with nine guys sharing one bus it, you know it, sounds it, like a party. it, it is a party yeah, every a party. single night yeah absolutely that's rad so now yeah. you're gonna finish up the tour you guys have got the album so what is your five-year goal like what do you guys want to be doing what's your plan that's a pretty big question. Um, hopefully, we would like to, you know, climb the ladder of success as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe one day, and if, hopefully soon, we'll be headlining and other bands will be opening for us. So that's kind of the, I think that's our short-term goal right now. Yeah. And, um, you know, have that bus just be for us. Right. Yeah. What would be some really important things for you when you do decide to start shopping for a label? Some specific things that you want to be able to keep about your music? Definitely want to be able to keep uh, most of the creative control. Mm -hmm. I don't want to, you know, have it dictated to me what should be on the record. Um, and I mean, as far as values and that kind of thing, I mean, how do you feel about that? Honestly, like as far as the label and stuff like that, if if we were to work with them, I would love to, you know, ha be able to have the opportunity to sit down and, and write some of the music as well, mm -hmm. not signing our life away or anything like that, because we do work very hard individually as well as collectively to build what we've built so far. So you know just carrying that and then obviously going and pressing towards the goal of just making this a career would be amazing would be. I mean that's the that's everybody's dream you know when yes. they first figure for me myself I picked up the drumsticks when I was 13 years old just dreaming of this moment so this is surreal to me how this old are you now 19 oh man that's so rad that's so cool what about you how old are you 21 okay so are you guys single attached how is it to have a relationship when you're in a band uh, well I'm single he, you're single I'm as single well. as well yeah it's pretty difficult uh, especially because I'm also an engineer too so I'm pretty much like music is my life I don't have any free time I'm uh, home recording bands or I'm out on the road with these guys trying to make Concordia a success mm -hmm. yeah. and I think the same for him I mean pretty much just everything you have into the band all the time absolutely yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it is your life. And as far as like, you know, relationships and stuff like that, it doesn't, it's kind of hard to do when you're always gone. I find that girls, maybe this could be a smart thing on their part, I find that a lot of girls don't trust, you know, guys that are constantly on tour and stuff like that. As, mm -hmm. as nice as it would be to, you know, go home to a girl, but you know. Yeah. Well, you I'd guys seem like wholesome guys. You seem like you would like nice girls. What are some of the things that you look for in a girl, an attractive feature? An attractive feature. Well, I, know, right now. I, I know. I know. My <laughs> definitely a brain. I like a cerebral gal. And uh, ah, ta tattoos don't hurt. Okay. <laughs> and the tattoos. Yeah. Yes. What about for you? Okay. For me, the deciding factor above anything else is teeth. I love a girl with a great pair of teeth. He's laughing because he knows it's true. No, 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 no. It's all good. No, uh, that's just that. That could you know that's. That's everything. I mean, that's awesome. Obviously, personality. There's a lot of other things I could say that's inappropriate, but mm -hmm. teeth and you know, personality is the biggest thing for me. Yes, for me, it's shoes and if they like the movie Anchorman. Deciding factor. Do you like it's my very shoes? important. Yeah, shoes to me tell a lot about a person. Whether and it doesn't mean if you're like rich or poor. If you're a worker or if you're kind of just like doo -doo -doo. this means that you you party. 
party. The party. What, what about me? You, what do I you, got? Yeah. you are an athletic type that likes to get down <laughs> casual business time. <laughs> Okay, I won't say how accurate that is, but I'll, I'll go with it. We'll go with it. I'm just <laughs> All right, it's been so much fun talking with you guys. I get to see you inside. If there's anything that you want to go ahead and, and say to your fans or new people that are going to be watching this who haven't yet heard you, here's your opportunity to talk to them. I just want to say thank everyone for their support, and uh, definitely check out our debut record, Clarity of Perception, available on iTunes. Also, our website, uh, concordiaband.com, and like our Facebook, facebook.com slash concordiarock. And then you want to say? We love you. Simple as that. We Thank do. you, Sacramento. <laughs> Good night. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> and we're out.